Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little update of this 3,150 watt solar array. I put a video out the other day of poor grid tie readings. So I just wanted to update you on it. A lot of guys thought I was losing a lot of power through the line that goes from the array to the house, which is carrying AC, and it's a 10-2 direct burial wire. I have my wife inside. I'm going to try to get some readings here. I got 1087, 1052, I got 1081, 1039, 1079, 1042. All right, thanks, Mom. All right, so we're losing quite a bit 40, 50 watts, a little more than I thought. Might lose more when the sun is shining real bright. Right now it's kind of overcast and it's been cloudy and rainy all day. But I just picked up these two kilowatt EZ meters which are pretty neat. You can see here it gives you the, the watt readings. Then we go here, this is the cost. 0.24 cents I've made so far today. And that's, point, that's 6 cents an hour. It'll be a dollar forty-eight a day. That's ten dollars and forty cents a week. And that's forty-four dollars and fifty-eight cents a month. Okay, and that's five hundred and forty-two dollars a year from this array. So it's a pretty neat little meter. I made two point two two kilowatts so far since I've plugged these meters in. They've been plugged in for almost four hours, three hours and 56 minutes. You got 126 volts. PF is 0.87. I'm not sure what that is, but some of you guys might be interested in it. 59 hertz, 60. 840 VA. You can see the clouds are covering the sun now and this is your wattage so this thing pretty much tells you everything you need to know it's actually made for checking out your appliances and all that it'll take 1875 watts so after that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I might get another inverter anyhow and run through two wall sockets in the house but this is my setup the big 3000 watt inverter is actually behind this rubber flap. A lot of you guys are thinking oh, I shouldn't be outside, but I'd rather have it out here than in my house worrying about it every time I try to leave. Um, it's not airtight out here. I want it to be able to breathe. We'll see what happens with it. These are the DC readings. You can see you get about six amps they're up and down all day 28 volts and then here I got the DC disconnect from Missouri wind and solar actually the amp and voltmeters are also from Missouri wind and solar they're nice people to work with and then I come out of this and go into just the inline fuse try to keep it as safe as I can so that's pretty much it. You can see the watch is going up and down with the clouds. But even 400 and 500 watts, I'm happy with that on a cloudy day. Seems to be working pretty good. All these panels, there's 21 150 watt panels. And they're all wired in parallel. And then they just go directly to this grid tie inverter. It's a 3000 watt. I was a little leery about this inverter when I first got it. But we'll see how it works out. I may end up with a bunch of smaller ones. Feeding different, out different outlets with them.
but I appreciate all your guys help you're all very smart guys and nobody's head is too big they're not trying to push you around and tell you what you're doing wrong and right they're just giving you a good old honest opinion of what they think that's all I ask for so thanks a lot guys got the wind turbine up here as you guys know this wind turbine hates cameras so it won't start spinning until I go in the house the little white thing there is actually my Davis weather station which I really like my turbine's only up at 20 feet right now she'll get going a little bit later on we got some good wind coming but anyhow that's it there's the array again clouds are starting to break up a little bit. It's been pretty cloudy and nasty all day, raining. Alright guys, thanks for